Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. You have here, I'll tell you what you have here. You got Mikey V coming in hot, and boy, does that have a day hat look good on you, Mikey V. And then we got Joey D who has stepped out for a second, but he will be back. You bet your bottom dollar he will be back. Fellas, nice warm round of applause. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. How is everybody today? Feeling great. Feeling great. Wonderful. Great weekend with the family. Good time. Good weather. Nice time yesterday. A little pool time. Some bets. A couple winners. Feel great. Bob, Joey, where are you? Uh, are you in Florida? Coming to you from Jupiter, Florida. That's why. Now we got some good lighting. We got some good <laughs> Wi-Fi. Good lighting, good Wi-Fi. We're here. I'm just we're, saying you look great. We're here. We're ready to we're, we're we're ready to go. Outside of you bashing in on Twitter yet again. There was no bashing. Oh. There was no bashing. There was no bashing. I mean you just, there was no bashing. There was no bashing. That wasn't a bashing. Reputation well, I don't have Twitter. I I don't I don't have Twitter, so I I would like to ask what was exactly said. He I put, put out a, a tweet on how how now can I read it verbatim, be, Bob? Before be you press the show, it? go ahead, okay. go ahead. All right. The, <laughs> the, the the tweet was I put I said about to record this week's brilliantly dumb show podcast. Which, by the way, like, comment, subscribe to the brilliantly oh, dumb promotion, show podcast. Promotion, promotion. Mm -hmm. What's the live odds on Robbie Berger at Robbie Berger? Starting the pod on time and more importantly, without technical mishap. But you know the what choices, he did, Joe? The choices were there plus 105. One By the way, all... plus 105 is even money almost. So plus 105 but, is there. But there wasn't one minus something. There wasn't one. There was no one minus. Favorite. No. I, 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 should I have ahead. thrown a minus in? I should. I think plus you could have thrown in one minus one, here. Plus 175, plus 225, plus 450. Plus 450 is in the lead right now. 45% of voters say plus 450. By the way, we oh, were on time. No technical no. mishap. So everyone's a loser. Everyone's a loser. Everybody's so good loser. for you, Bob. Well, they didn't Good have a, you. They didn't have a chance really to be a winner with the minus. I think there should have been like a minus one twenty five or something in there. Yeah, I should have. You would have had some loyal loyal uh, fans of yours, I'm sure. Pick the minus, Joey D. What's going on with you today? How are you? I'm all right. Um, I'm not prepared for a big trip that we have coming up. Um, not prepared at all. And you know that it's it's it's. I always tell myself I'm going to pack. I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to be organized before I go on these big trips. And I never do. I procrastinate every single time. I don't. I probably won't pack. I, I got to be at the airport tomorrow at six thirty in the morning. I probably won't pack till like ten o'clock at night tonight. It's Ooh. it's it's tough. I just and, feel you know, like packing for a man is just so much more simple. Especially you know you're not bringing kids. Like packing for me, I could get packed for a five day trip. I could get packed. Give me twenty minutes. I'll be packed. I'll be really. Packed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but for us, it's tough though with the golf trip. Like you got to bring the clubs, and then you got to bring like golf outfits, uh, and then regular stuff, and then shoes, and like you know, it's not tough. It's just I hate doing it. I hate it. And but like people always say, "Oh, are you excited to go travel? Are you excited to go away?" I don't get excited to go away until I literally check my bags and I oh. get into the airport. And I know I'm about to board the plane to get to where I want to go. Nobody likes the nobody likes the rigmarole of 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 the packing and the 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 travel arrangements and the just going oh, through security. Nobody likes that. I mean, you have to sticks. be a psycho to like that. <laughs> By the I way, like it. Perez, I've never seen some this happen to somebody in Vegas. They misplaced Perez's bag and sent them to the wrong spot. Oh. I've never, and I know this is the jinx, and now it's going to happen to me. I've never had that happen to me where they've misplace the bags but here the thing that bothered me and president do this and president's not the type of guy that did it nothing gets that i think is more ridiculous than the people who go on social media to complain about an airline mm. and then they're tagging the airline about their bag first off nobody cares about your bags or whatever but then they tag they go ahead and they tag the airline i think to me I think that is, I just think it's a bad, I think it's a bad look. It's a very, um, as upset as you are, it's a very Karen, modern day Karen thing to do. I think a lot of people are doing it though, but I think the, the, they the do. service, yeah. the because service you get compensated. You get compensated, Bob. That's the reason you put in a couple things out like this, or you send an email out and all of a sudden you're getting free flights or you're getting free upgrades or something. 
People want to get compensated for their inconvenience. I don't, I don't, I don't have any issue with that. To be completely but don't honest, you, don't you think that it's something? Well, with all the respect, Joey, yeah, I could see you making that. The reason that you don't have an issue with it, is I could well, see no, you making no, it. no, because remember when we got back from Europe and I had all of that nightmare canceled flights, delayed flights, changed flights. Everybody said you should, you should complain, you should send in a thing, and I just documented what happened. I wasn't like. This airline's the worst. I just showed what happened and I didn't do it. And I could have probably got a ton of free shit, Bob. I could have probably got a, a bunch of free flights or airline credit or a lot of stuff. And you know what? I didn't do that. And I'm proud I didn't do it because you know what? It's not all about getting a free buck. Yeah, I, I just, I, 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 <laughs> Mikey, what is, <laughs> is there something that you find humorous? No, in that no, I, no, no, no. I just, um, I just think that the, I, all you hear about today is how awful flying is like between delays and, 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 it's and bad. Uh, yeah. I mean, so I, 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 there's a lot of upset people out there and I don't think the airlines are addressing it. I think it's something that's just Basically, you know, airlines have a monopoly on this industry. Like, without them, like, where are you going to go? What are you going to take? Mike B is what bashed drive? airlines in his time. Let me tell you, I could see. Knock on, knock on wood. Yes. I, I got to be honest. Knock on wood. I, I really, I mean, other than the accommodations, which I think are, <laughs> you know, they're 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 caveman like. They're you know, they're dark ages. It's like the dark ages. These airlines with the accommodation, nothing has gotten any better unless you're flying first class, of course, which I I highly recommend do that if if, if you can. There's nothing <laughs> better than doing not, that. Not not quite. Did you not? Did you um? Did you end up booking that first class to Chicago? What? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what though, Mikey? You should. If you find Whoa. a good deal on it, you should. The number one, is- I found I found a good deal on it. And number two, um, it really, guys, like it really, it's really uncomfortable for me to sit and coach. Like it's really well, uncomfortable. You, 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 should, you, you, should, you, you should tag them and tell them. You should tag them and tell them. But you just said yes, don't tag because then you just said I'm that's joking, the modern I'm joking, parent. I'm joking. Now yeah, you're no, ta- yeah. No, I'm right. joking. I'm joking. Okay. I think okay. I have the photo still of Mikey V in the uh the bathroom stall. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's fantastic horrible. horrible. But the, the problem oh, is, yeah. and and people have told me about it before doing it, and it and it really is true. The first time I ever flew first class was leaving your house, Mikey, after that weekend, after that bender of a weekend, and it was which new, one? It was <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's not right. Now that's now that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> but Mikey, they, right. can't, they can't. They can't. What? They can't build a taller bathroom. <laughs> I Listen, think I have... would say like I would say like. <laughs> yeah. 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 It is. I would say I would say that everything should be accommodated to someone up to seven feet tall. If you're over seven feet tall. That's just a really tough draw. It is, but if you're, but also if you're over seven, not feet really tall, you're gonna play in the NBA. Well, probably. that was just what I was gonna say. If you're over seven feet tall, you should have made it as a pro athlete, unless you have some kind of de- debilitating issue physically. Um, but I'd say like everything should be door frame cuts, roofs, planes, cars. Everything should accommodate anyone seven foot or under. Seven foot or over, you're in trouble. But I think at this point, there's a lot of tall people out there. I'm not the only one. And I just think six seven. It's not like I'm six ten, six seven, and I can't even fucking fit in the bathroom. You know, yeah. You know what makes you look taller though, Mikey, is is the tattoos and just your physique <laughs> makes the you tattoos make me look yeah, taller. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that. I think that. Yeah. And 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 that's an I'm interesting not, take. That's no, a very I, interesting. I'm serious. Take. <laughs> Joe, fuck? Joe, Joe. Do you think? <laughs> Do you what think, do you mean? The tattoos I think, make him look bigger. I, I think if, if Mikey V was fat, I don't think he would look as tall. We have fat pictures from Mikey V from the past. Whoa, the whoa. Big Mikey I mean, v. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say fat. No, I mean, big, I think he big was, Mikey V. I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was heavy, but like listen, like at six foot seven, I never weighed more than like two ninety five. Three hundred was think, like a max weight uh, for me. So I, I was think, never like like not obese, bad, but you know what I'm saying. Like you take your physique very seriously. Well, I went like, through so, like a, I went through like a two year period where I didn't do anything because I I tore my rotator cuff on my shoulder and that was like that was it. And then in high school, I mean, I was I had, I had weight on me from football. I mean, I was playing football, so I was I was heavier. I had to be heavier, but um, that's what happened to me. I gained a lot of weight because I yeah. I see, Bob, I feel like if I was skinny, I think you're right though. I think like when you encounter a skinny tall guy, when they're the lankier they are, the taller they like a Sean Bradley. 
or like a minute bull or like the other guy from the center from Gonzaga, that other kid, the center from Gonzaga. Oh, the Spanish kid. Yeah, I yeah, think, yeah. Is he I Spanish? Bet, I think he's I, Spanish. Mikey, background. I bet, I bet yes, when you but, were, I bet when you were chubby, you didn't like that picture you have with Shaq. I bet you didn't look as tall to Shaq as you would now. You think I'd look taller with Shaq right now? <laughs> I think you'd look taller with Shaq right now. I, I, mm. I really, I really yeah. do believe that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I really do. And okay. I will tell you another thing, too, when in regards to height, one of the biggest regrets I have of my life. He's not getting I, a tattoo. He would have looked three inches taller. <laughs> 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 you just see Bob with like a neck tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> no regrets. No regrets across the chest. <laughs> You know, or like a yeah. fucking like like a chicken Caesar salad wrap on his fucking on his bicep just, or something. Just an everything bagel with poppy seeds and fucking cream <laughs> cheese spread. <laughs> I, you imagine you know, what what when Mikey talks about when somebody says to him, "Oh wow, you know you're so tall." Oh. I get how obnoxious that really is. That's got to be so obnoxious. One of the biggest regrets I have my of my life is meeting Mikey, and that was the first words out my mouth. And the way I said it, it was a very obnoxious... But you didn't ask, though. You didn't ask. You didn't ask, like, how tall are you? It's the question that I think is very intrusive that people don't think about, that they think it's just a free thing to ask. Again, it's the only situation where you could ask that question about someone's physical appearance. I can't go up to a woman and say, how big are your tits? I can't go up. I can't. I can't. I can't go up to a guy and I can't go up to a guy and say, you know, how short are you? That's never. I can't go up to a fat person and say, how how much do you weigh? Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it's it's if you think about it, it's a little ridiculous. Well, no, because sure. people people regard height as a, as a positive redeeming quality. So it's a it's 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 normally said in a positive connotation. Like people, I think. Have you ever met somebody who said, "I wish I wasn't a little bit taller." Yeah, the guy who sang the song was the th that was the guy. Well, I wish I was a little taller. I wish I was a baller. Back yeah, then. that yeah. guy. A lot yeah. of people. No, I, like I mean that. people do wish that, but I, 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 I listen. If wow. you're abnormally short, I could understand. But like I'd say, that's like, way worse than being abnormally tall. If, for sure. Yeah. For oh, a hundred, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Unless you're talking about like the extremes, I think either extreme, like if you're seven foot nine or something oh. ridiculous, like that's got, if you're well, a legal, you're a if you're a legal dwarf or small person, what I guess is the preferred nomenclature these days. I don't know, <laughs> but I know you can't say midget. I know that. So if you're, if you're a small person or a dwarf, like, would you rather be a, a dwarf than be like a guy who's like seven foot nine or 10? Yeah, maybe actually. Because think about the inconveniences of being seven nine. Where are you going? You're not fitting. Seven, in anything. I'll say this. I'll say this. Go ahead. A person who's a person who's shorter, like a dwarf, is the life expectancy is probably a lot longer than like oh, a, yeah. a, a yeah. certified well, giant. Definitely. A certified Why? giant. Because definitely. Bob, the, the heart has to pump more blood through the yeah. body. Oh. Yeah, he's not wrong. Oh. He's not so wrong. would you actually say that dwarfs live longer than the normal oh. person? No. You ever see you ever see a hundred year old seven foot guy? Yeah, but I, to be he honest said this with you, before you never really see old people. I saw Bill no. Walton, or no, what's the yeah, guy that the guy? The oh, guy uh, who, Bill uh, Russell. Bill Russell. Yeah, but now he passed away too. He passed away. He sure did. Don't tell me height didn't what... have to play in the factor <laughs> there. He sure did. But I that was one of the I've few old seen, tall uh, people I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen in a hundred year old dwarf. Well, why does that have to be a hundred, Bob? Well, why? Yeah. No, but why does the tall person have to be a to be a hundred? I'm not saying 100. I'm saying that the tall person is probably not going to live as long as the shorter person. I agree. It's a fascinating subject. Would you rather be a <laughs> would yeah. you rather be Bob's a dwarf? Trying to wrap his head no, around. because it's true. Sure. I think what you're saying is is, is somewhat true. What well, would yeah. you rather be, Bob? A dwarf or a seven foot five? A legal giant. A legal giant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not that easy, is it? Not that easy. I, I will say this. I think the dwarf will get a lot more sympathy than the than the tall person too. So I, I think I, you go through life with with a lot of people looking but out. Do you way. want? Yeah, I mean, you know what? I don't know. They it have shows. You... TLC has shows. About yeah. Little... Yep. I've never seen a the show about shows. illegal giants. No, nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. Fuck them. They're gonna die soon anyway.
That's but what Mike, they're thinking in the Mike, back of their would head. You, would you would you take another if somebody says, okay, you could get be another inch taller, would you want to be another inch taller? No way. No. I mean why why? Would you why? take another would you take an inch shorter? No. Yeah, no. you probably would. No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Six six no. is pretty good, Mikey. I love six. Six seven's a great height. It's a great thing to say. It's a great height. But I'm just this started with airplane. I just think airplanes are way behind the times. I think they need to make some adjustments in airplanes. Yeah. But the dwarf giant conversation is fascinating. Fascinating. Joey, Joey D's got his hands up. Joey D, go ahead. I just like to say, speaking about the jets, about planes and jets, we gotta address the fact that Bob's team now has gotta be <laughs> that was the wildest considered... transition from airplanes to the New York Jets because Jets. Well, no, and we're planes. talking about but jets well and planes, but why yeah, not? I gotta say. I think Bob, you guys are Super Bowl favorites. Now, I now let me let, let me brief people who may not know because right before we recorded the podcast tonight, tonight is Monday. The Jets signed uh, Pro Bowl Dalvin running back Cook. Dalvin Cook from from free oh, agent oh. from the Vikings, uh, one year deal, eight point six million. Jets are loaded. Brees Hall, you know, uh, now you add Dalvin Cook. You got two good offensive tackles, or you, excuse me, you, the tackle position is a little bit in flux, but guard to guard, you're good. You got Garrett Wilson. You got Alan Lazard. You got Aaron Rodgers. You got a defense that, in my opinion, is the best defense in football. I I, I believe that yeah. truly. I, I think it's the deepest pass rush in football. By a great by coach. A great margin. coach. It's fun. It, it's they got a great coach. It's fun. I I I. It's fun because the first time in a long time they're going into it with probably the last time they had this was like when they were with Rex Ryan and Mark Sanchez, like after they went to the AFC championship. I don't think they've had it. Also, and I see the first episode, them hard to do knocks. the hard knocks on the Jets is the perfect team to do the hard knocks for. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. yeah, I agree. And a lot of teams have been watching it, Bob? hard knocks, but it's good. I well, there's only one episode so far. So you haven't missed anything. Yeah. Have you watch no, it. No, I haven't seen it yet, but it, it is the perfect team to do it for. It would be fun. I mean, look, it'll be fun. I just, I truly do think, I'm not even just saying that, yes, they can be, I just think they'll find a way to fuck it up. And I also think that it's still crazy to me. I checked the line the other day, that Bills minus 200 to get into the playoffs still stands. The AFC is a war zone this year. It's a it's a yeah, legitimate it war zone. But to get into the playoffs, Bills, like you see? Dolphins, the Patriots. I th- I don't think anyone's expecting anything out of the Patriots. But they got some decent receivers now. You know, they got Juju. They got Devontae Parker. You know, they just got Ezekiel Elliott, who I think is cooked. But Ramondre Stevenson's a really good running back. Belichick defenses should be good. Mac Jones should be a little better. But Dolphins, Patriots, Jets. And uh, the Bills, that division's murder. Then you got Burrow and Cincinnati. Then Pittsburgh oh. looks pretty good. Then you got Kansas City and Mahomes. Ravens then you got the Ma- Chargers and Herbert. Then you got Sean Payton with the Broncos over there. To, you would expect the Ravens are a huge sleeper. Lamar I think the Ravens are going to be filthy this year. The AFC is just, it's 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 murderer's row. It's murderer's row. So yeah, I wrong. guess the Bills, th- those odds, it's got to be comparable. Like, I'd like to know what the Dolphins playoff odds line is, Bob, and then what the Jets is because – I think it's just because that division is just going to beat the shit out of each other. They're going to yes. poach each other's game so much. It's just so deep of a division that it's just going to be insane. But the AFC is just fucking loaded. They're just they're just loaded. Meanwhile, like, the NFC stinks. Yeah, NFC stinks. The NFC the NFC stinks. stinks. We, we said it the other day. And, San Francisco's and, the best team, and then I don't even know where the quarterback is. Sorry. And about. Joey D, I think we got we to gotta hold to it. We definitely got to hold to it. Is and I kind of threw you into it because it was the number that I threw out. I think a minimum of two football Sundays have to take place in the cave. I think a minimum. Wow. Yeah. In Mikey I think V's we, cave. In Mikey V's cave. I think we, we yeah, got well, wow. either, either the cave or the new, the new setup that's going to be outside, though. Because I'm gonna have the TV outside with the fire pit and the furniture out there. What is that but, area that you watch with the pizza ovens and all that? That that area looks good. Oh yeah, well that's my buddy's house down the shore. Yeah, that's but that's a special. That place. is but my, special. The the, the outside <laughs> the ahead. outside patio move to me is more of like a a Sunday night football play. Oh, it's the night game. Yes, it's the night game. It's play. it's a night game special, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think that's a better way to play it. I mean, regardless, you call the shots. I mean, you. I'd love to get you guys in for the. I just think that week one, if you put me and Cutsy together for week one, Bears Packers with no Aaron Rodgers, and the Bears actually think we have a legitimate chance 
in Chicago. Uh, I just I'm because I'm telling you right now, it has nothing to do with Joe. It has nothing to do Packers with Packers are gonna win that game, man. See, he's saying that if that happens and the Packers beat the Bears in Soldier Field week one, like I may disappear for, for a week. You may not see me or hear from me, besides the rant, obviously. It's gonna be so be, fun. I will literally I'll be, <laughs> be so I'll be so upset. I'll be so fucking Mikey, angry I'm telling you right I now, will. I'm prepping you right now. Okay. I think the Packers. I now. I'm. I think the Bears could be better than the Packers this this year. But I think the Packers are winning Week One. I'm okay. just telling the you. Only, the only thing that concerns me about doing that at your place Week One, and I will say, Joe actually happens to be good with it, where he doesn't favor the TV too much back. to the Packers. Yeah, he bounce. He, he does. He does yeah. probably because he's he's betting the board. But still, he could he does a good job. <laughs> well, yeah, but but he does a good job of of mixing up. He doesn't favor too dominant to the backs, unless if it's those afternoon games. I would worry. The only thing with him, Mikey, is I would I would worry about you favoring the Bears game way too heavy, especially for Week One. And mind you, that's because you got to get a lot of your stuff out. You got to commentate on everything. I, I that's the only thing that would concern me about week one. I think week week one's a big ask. Is well, it an know, afternoon week, game? It's Good the question. it's the early it's the early slot game. Oh, it's, it's, that's see that early oh. slot, man. Yeah, but but I actually think I actually think that plays better because you're guaranteed that number one, the Bears will be on the big TV, which that's a whole nother story now. So the, the big, big TV, TV wouldn't get red. The big zone? TV is another whole story about that's what's right. going on with my big TV right now. It's a problem with that, but that's that going for buy or sell. We'll talk about that at buy or sell. We'll talk about it. Body bags. Anyway, the big TV <laughs> would be Bears Packers, which I think is the fair play. Joe's a Packers fan. Obviously, it's my house. Bears are, but then you got the bar TV, forty-five inch. I mean, I'm going to put Red Zone on there. You're going to have Red Zone going the whole time. Dude, Bob would be like living at that bar. Bob would be living at, and the that's bar. fine. But he can be comfortably. He looks good back there. He's you, you know go. what? And then once you hit the afternoon, then afternoon you're flying. You're going what wherever I have you want. Set Bounce up. around coverage, and you still got the night game. We, which we, is probably a big game because it's Patty, we do. We do a good setup that we put the red zone on the main TV. And then I have the laptop with the picture and picture, yeah, like I, the I four can't. split screen. I, I can't and you get the games there because Bob, want, I mean, with his fantasy, he wants to know and he will try to update the the, the laptop before. Like a lot of that like used to be direct TV. It's a little bit slow like it's delayed. like a five delayed. second delayed can't have so that. bob would can't be refreshing have, the laptop no, you won't have that here i have cable box nuts. line to both tvs there's he no streaming at yeah. all it's cable box We're, line to both yeah televisions. yeah, yeah the, red is zone is, it, the red zone is on time so like when you put the red zone on i don't have to worry about him ru ruining it like or updating people like oh there's a touchdown for so and so when we haven't seen it yet right. so the main screen is the red zone Right. And then that keeps us up to speed. And then we try to put the other games on the laptop and it works. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's especially two we, TVs, well, so two many TVs games. is two TVs is ideal. I mean, you got to, uh, that's why I, that was like an automatic when we, when we bought the house, and got the basement. I was like, I've always wanted for years, like whatever my setup was going to be, has to be multiple televisions. It's got to be two TVs, especially during college. There's so many games on in college football. You want to watch but pros, red zone on one, your game on the other, and then you go from there. And then you do whatever you want after that. Mikey, have you thought about what you're going to eat week one? Like, has that already been established for you? Yeah, week but one? I, no, because in the back of my head, I know what the standard spread will be. I mean, I'll get the I'll get the spread, the, the stuffed breads, the cheeses. Oh, you Is will. That that's a week one. That's a week one special. Yeah, it's week one. And then the and then obviously Sunday gravy. You know, Holly will make the oh, full Sunday gravy. Wow. Used to do the last yeah. time it was yeah. just. Yeah. The, Joe, you already know what we're going to. The only time I'll probably have it all year, and and there's something about it to where it just hits on this particular day, and I won't have it any other time. We do the KFC family feast. Right. Now, we what's good with the family year. feast too is they do all of that fresh, so they're not all just throwing the stuff that's already been out there. It's yeah. the one time of the whole year where. KFC hits the way that it does. So and you it won't really, have K will you not have KFC the rest of the year? Probably not. 
Because that's similar not. to me with, with Chinese. I mean, really, I, I, I have Chinese maybe three times a year max. But automatic New Year's Day is a must. I thought you were a Chinese well, I, connoisseur. No, no, whoa, no, whoa, no. I don't order Chinese. No, I don't order Chinese delivery often. This is the, a new development. I, can, I can't. I can't. I can't. Because the order I make can't. is sl- it's slovenly. It's so bad Wait, that I, I'll eat Chinese food for four your, days. That's one of your favorite foods. You only it's have my China. favorite ever. Yeah, I, I, I torture myself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is one of the more bizarre yeah. things you you purposely I, I i food. have no control over myself if i order chinese no oh, what i'll order a hundred dollars <laughs> worth of chinese food and i'll eat it until it's totally gone Are and i'll just serious? keep eating it and eating it and eating it and eating it for the next two three days i'll eat it every day i thought you would have it's it so like bad once a you. week or once, Me every too. once a week i would weigh 400 pounds if i ordered chinese once a week i would eat about i can't just have one item i order fucking 15 <laughs> items when i I, I um I had That's it tonight. That's a smorgasbord. And Did I, I will Chinese. say, we gave Joe a lot of shit about it. He gave oh. us the Chinese food in Vancouver. It was Mikey. It, it, it was it was the best Chinese food I've ever had. It, it wasn't even. It. And then I had it. I I just had Chinese tonight. It stunk. It's just it, it, nothing. Yeah. About, it just <laughs> you had it tonight. Stunk. Yeah, I did. <laughs> delivery or you went out no my dad went and he picked it up but the, the only okay. thing that gets me very excited are the rangoons yeah crab, crab rangoons, rangoons. Yeah, those yeah, get yeah. me very excited but yeah. everything in say, chinese food gets me excited yeah me everything too. but if you'd only say that you only get it three times a year it's that is food. wild yep yeah. <laughs> right, mike is just built differently man i i don't know man if i i, I don't food, have any yeah i i couldn't do that because I would just, if I could, I would order it every week. So when I would order, Chinese... I would eat it every week. I would eat it every week, but I can't. When I is can't. the Chinese? When is the Chinese play for you? Football season? New Year's Day, automatic. New Year's Day is automatic. And are you Chinese. like chomping at the bit, like ready to get to that oh. date? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget the one New Year's Day a couple of years ago. It fell on a Tuesday. And that's the day that my favorite Chinese place to order from is closed. And I didn't realize it until it was too late. And I called and I'm like, yo, they're not answering the phone. And I'm looking at Holly like it's her fault. I'm looking at her and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like I'm getting angry and now I'm escalating and I'm cursing and I'm saying, what the fuck is going on? They're not answering the fucking phone over here. It's January for it's New Year's Day. I do this every year. What the fuck is going on? I know they're not. I know they didn't shut down and close. I looked at Google. They're closed on Tuesdays. Oh my! I wonder man, why I close on a two. Yeah, I wonder why I close on a Tuesday too. What about the if you're gonna close, close on a Monday? Yeah, you know a lot of <laughs> a lot of places are starting to go oppo on that because then they're the place that's open on Monday. Yeah, oh, it's a heavy yeah, play. It's a heavy yeah. play. Yeah, I, I'm telling you though, I think Joe really did. I think he scarred me from from Chinese food. I was already kind of out on it as is, and I know I'll take some heat for that, but I it, it was. It was that it was good. Unbelievable. Yeah, it really was. Yeah, really we was. We were staying in. We were staying in Richmond. we because the airport is in Richmond. They had to fly out the next morning, so we we're staying in Richmond, which is like the hub for all the best Chinese food restaurants in the city because it's all Chinese demographic. So we literally we had Avery walk a block and a half away. There was a restaurant. He picked it all up, brought it in. We ate it. We went in the banquet room. <laughs> we, we didn't have anywhere to eat it so we walked in there was a banquet hall that was wide open i just opened the door we sat at one of those big round tables and ate it like we we're like like we we're having a buffet bre- you know it was unbelievable no bob that's the best Joey D, what's what's your favorite thing let's say you got let's say you got a five-hour layover at an airport okay what's your favorite thing to see at an airport Favorite thing to yeah, see? Yeah, favorite, favorite chain. Like your favorite chain to see at an airport. Oh, man, that's tough. Um, Favorite chain. I think... I would go Chili's. Like fast food or like sit-down restaurants? Mm, either. You, I think you got to get a sit-down because then you can have a cocktail. Right? That's right. You got a five-hour layover. You got yeah. a five-hour layover. Mikey, we Chili's go is next. not bad. Chili's, Chili's is, is okay. How about like a Hooters or something like that with like Hooters wings and something that would be at, with at all an, the games on at an airport though? Yeah, Why little not? sports bar. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Joe, you I mean tell, tell me they haven't done it? They should. They should. That was. Oh, I was gonna say that seen... might be a million dollar idea. <laughs> Could you imagine? I'm serious. I'm. I wonder serious. if there's actually anyone who's ever done that before. But you got to think they have every TV, all sports, great chicken wings. 
You know, they're no for here's a good- suggestion, and I'm and I'm not saying it because I, I go to them. I'm I don't go to them for the record. I'll say it again, I don't go to them, right? Um, but what if they open gentlemen's club in the airport? Oh, they make what kind of business. Make- what kind oh, of business? Make- Imagine layovers, people wouldn't people would be staying there, they'd be missing yeah. flights like crazy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> gotta be some kind of F- FAA regulation that doesn't allow that. It's gotta be the they, only reason because otherwise why? it's a why cash cow. I don't know. There's Just people, the pilots. Or a Maybe casino, the pilots go in, in there. A casino inside the airports. Yes. There's people who go to the Well, Vegas, Vegas has fucking well, they have some the slot airport. machines. Yeah, yeah. 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 There, there's people who go to the strip club for a certain like a food, like lemon pepper Lou, one of the best <laughs> nicknames of all time. You know, you know Lou Williams? Yes. You know? Lou Williams, they call him Lemon Pepper Lou because the strip club that he goes to named a, the chicken wing after him. But there is people who will go to strip clubs, obviously, for the other extracurriculars, but mainly for a lot of times. Like, I couldn't imagine. <laughs> could you imagine having wings at it? It's like, I couldn't sit down and eat at a strip Moreover, club. could you imagine a place naming a wing sauce after you because you frequent it so much? Yeah, That's stop. unbelievable. To add your question, Bob, I just thought about it. You know, I, I like P.F. Chang's. I think that wow. would be a good one. Yeah. In, in an yeah, airport. P.F. Chang is great. And that yeah. ties back into the Orient. Sure does. Yeah, the only thing is, Or, or to the Chinese food. Last time we were at P.F. Chang's. Remember how bad it was that last time we were yeah, at Yeah, but Bob, Chang's? we were at P.F. Chang's. Where were we? Where, Scottsdale? Like, I mean, come on. Look, a good a good chain, though. It doesn't matter where you are. That's true. That's true. You know? I'm not a huge chain guy. I, I'm not a huge, like, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I don't I don't need to necessarily you know what it was was good for us and I went was uh Buffalo Wild Wings was pretty good too. Was it? I went not long ago. I, I was ravenously, I was ravenously hungry. <laughs> Anything's yeah, good when you're that hungry. That's I'm ravenously, do. ravenously hungry. So Mikey, that that always plays into in, into into account. Mikey V, if you could you could have one chain at an airport, what are you looking for? I would love like a hula hands. But I don't know if there's any hula hands left. But hula what's, hands was one what of the is, best. What, what's hula what, hands? What's hula yeah, hands? See, oh, see, it might be only like an East Coast thing. I don't know. Hula hands is basically like an upscale TGI Fridays, basically. Real Same kind of deal. Yeah, I never Jerry, heard, heard of that. A big, big fan of hula hands. Me and Jerry Don. We were going to actually have lunch at Hula Hands and Sea Caucus the one day because is that so? Yeah. <laughs> J- Jerry Don is going to Jersey. Jerry just moved to Chicago. He's yeah. one of those guys. That I think, um, as well as he'll do over there. I think he will. He is such a Jersey guy to where I think he will miss it tremendously. I really yeah. do. Yeah. You think it's yeah. going to be problematic for him? No, oh, I, I mean, I think he'll he'll crush. It. I'm just saying he's such a Jersey guy that there's so many things about Jersey that you, it's tough to take those jerseys guys. I mean, look, if we get Mikey V down with us to Florida, Mikey V would be in the same thing. Mikey V is a Jersey guy through and through. Yeah, Mikey yeah, Jer- like Jersey was, is yeah. just Jersey is. But you know what? There's a lot of Jersey transplants in Florida. A ton of Jersey transplants in Florida. A lot of people yeah. from Jersey live in Florida year round and then come back to Jersey for the summer. A lot of snowbirds, ton of people. Maybe you do people. a maybe you do a snowbird situation, Mikey B. Yeah, listen, we gotta get there first, Bob. We gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta <laughs> crawl before we walk. Yeah, okay, let's crawl before we this walk. Guy's we're begging gonna, for a bone. But but, but, beg, I'm not begging for nothing. I'm not begging for nothing. I wanna give you I wanna give you a bounty. I want to give you a freaking Chinese smorgasbord. No, I down. appreciate that. These guys have a smorgasbord. <laughs> but maybe Bobby that's give what you do. Smorgas- yeah. Maybe that's what you do, though. Maybe you start off as a... Well, I'll tell you what. what the smorgasbord is, the live studio. Oh, that's yeah. That's that'll what's... Come. By the that'll way, Bobby that'll, was that'll on time today. Different. Bob was on time today. No issues. No, that a, no. That was a big today out of cuts. He just. I realized after I said today. it. Yeah. Today. <laughs> you did, you did, you did, you did. Bob, I was the, impressed. You bounced the, back. The studio he did would be. Back, but because he got out of the studio. That studio may be cursed. It, it may is. be cursed. Studio's haunted. Studio's haunted. It's I told like, you. It's I, like. Look, I said it three weeks ago. The studio was a bust. Yeah, well, I, mean, I took it. I knew that, Bob. Yeah, they're gonna put it on one of those those shows on Discovery <laughs> Channel where they go like go to the old mental asylums, like a crew to see if <laughs> if there's like paranormal activity in there. See if they're it's gonna have like haunted. those micro readers. Yes, and- yes. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, too, built it up only just to leave it a few months later. That was uh, that was another thing. Yeah, I, I didn't want to say that, but 
I I I didn't understand the play on that one. It was well, a little premature. No, yeah, you don't know no, yet. You don't but know that was, yet. Yeah, and that was going to be like a solid five, six months with it. You could still take everything the other way. The only thing is instead of taking it, I'm just going to burn it all. <laughs> there's no there's nothing the golden nothing tea doesn't take. make it to jupiter oh. by the way by the way i i got invoice for the studio oh no it what it, I, i'm not gonna say it, it was very it was very reason it, it was what i thought that it would be 25 now, does, what does the invoice include though any articles like does it like did it like were were no was like I, any of the furniture bought no right that was no. all I okay. bought it. So this was just for setup. Set everything up. My audio, you, visual pictures up, set up the golden tea, which probably took the longest out of everything. Put that the turf that we have down there, set all of that up. Now I'm gonna say under five thousand. Oh, way way under. Okay. I said twenty five hundred. Way under. Way yeah, under twenty five hundred? Oh, it was under twenty five hundred. Way oh, you got a bargain now. I can tell you why the studio didn't pan out because <laughs> I think you should have spent a couple more. Yeah, yeah, this, guy right. was, this guy was shopping at Value yeah, you know Village. What? You know what? Yeah, went on Facebook know. Marketplace and found some guy to come oh, and set up a studio. A studio, yeah. He come just, he, you know what he did? He got signed up with the Geek Squad and he had one come over one day and just threw him a bone. Fuck them too. I got another bone to pick with Best Buy. Oh, Go ahead. Let's let's let's. Mikey, no, we we'll get to buy or sell. No, I'm, no, I'm no. Let's get it. let's get into our buy or sell, Mikey B. I think it's the natural time. All Take right, so I'm selling. I'm, I'm selling uh, Sony <laughs> this week. I'm selling <laughs> the brand Sony. You know, and I I'm a PlayStation guy. Um, but I bought a Sony Bravia television last year when I moved into my new house. <laughs> I had scouted TVs out, mind you, like an NFL scout scouts college athletes for like months. I was scouting TVs. I was like, all right, I got speed, crispness, uh, you know, sound quality, deep blacks, all the shit. I scouted it, scouted it, finally decided on the Bravia XR. That's your first um, mistake. Okay, you should have gone with the Samsung. They're I much saw, better I saw very popular. Listen, I've had Samsung, and I'm Samsung. not knocking Samsung. But Sony Bravia, I, there was a lot of good things to like about this TV. Spent a pretty penny on it, obviously, because it's 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 the man cave TV. It's the most important TV in the house. It carries the most weight in terms of what it what it what it's asked to do. Um, and last week, I'm watching TV downstairs, and I have a line that now runs down from the right side of the television. Like, I would say three quarters over to the right, a straight black line down the TV, a line of pixels blew out on the television. This TV <laughs> is has been in my home for under a year. It was delivered on August the 13th, 2022. The line blew out on August 9th, 2023. Now I call it to the ground. Now I <laughs> now, now now and that's the thing. The TV's not Joe, on all Joe, day. It's not on. Joe, it's not Justin, on all day. Justin Fields is going to gain two yards. Mikey's going to think it's a first down. In reality, <laughs> he's got the he's got the wrong. It's a problem. The line it's not a red line. Wrong. It's the black one now. <laughs> the TV's a problem. The line's a problem. Uh, and then you know, so it's under a year. I call Best Buy. Best Buy basically tells me that I got to call Sony. So I call Sony. Get on the phone with some guy, you know, definitely not from the area, this guy. Don't know where he's from. <laughs> um, he's telling me that because I purchased the television on August the 8th and that it's two days after that, the next year, that it's no longer under their one-year warranty. And I said, wait, 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 wait. I said, I bought it on August 8th. I said, it didn't come into my possession and I can prove this until the 13th of August when it was delivered from the company in a box. And I have proof of that, right? So how am I responsible for five days of warranty when the item is not in my possession? It'd be the same thing. So if I order a TV July 1st and it's on back order and it doesn't get delivered till August 21st, my warranty starts July 1st because I fucking put it on my credit card. So now I'm in dispute. I disputed it. It's, it's under review. There's a major case review going right now. I got a documented letter and everything. I am not going to, I'm getting my money back for this television. I am not going to, I'm, I'm not going to wear it. How much, how much I, was I will TV? have justice in this situation, Bob. How much was it? It's almost $3,000. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. 
You break it, you bought it. <laughs> yeah, that's not the way. Not not this time, Joe. Not this time, because I'll fly to fucking Japan and I'll go speak to the fucking guy in charge of Sony myself. I am not I taking a bath on a TV one, that's Mikey. under a year old. I'm not taking a bath on a TV. That's I, under I a agree year old. with you, but I don't know if you're winning this one. You know how bad customer service is nowadays for some yeah, of these but companies. You know what? You got to buy everything with a credit card. Number one, you got to buy it with a credit card because I, now my credit card dispute history is non-existent. I don't dispute anything. So this dispute is going to hold a lot of weight and I will, I will get the money back for this TV. And guess what? I'm not getting this one repaired. It's going right in the fucking garbage and I'll never buy Sony ever. What credit card company did you use? I went through PayPal credit for this one. So Synchrony Bank. Now, if you used American Express, I would oh, I know. have a good counter. I know, sh- I know, I know. Because I know. They'll, just, they'll just remove it right <laughs> off the... They'll I just know. remove it right off the car. They don't fuck around. I know. That's, Mike, that's you know. why you got to have, you know, we might have to partner with American Express because I they are the best. I love Amex. Amex American is the Express, best. Shit. No question. Don't leave home without <laughs> it. Don't leave home without it's it. It's the best and card, I never Bob. Do. And it's, the amount of perks you get with it is it's by far the best. It's good card. It's great Mikey, card. you got to. They, they will fight for you. You got to have unbelievable credit. And I'm not going to ask you to, to say what your credit score is, but your credit score has to be very, very good. Yeah, it's near perfect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's near perfect. I pay my bills is, on time, yeah. and you what know, I, I, I'm not a swindler. There's a lot of people out there that are swindlers. I'm not one of them. What's considered perfect credit? Eight hundred. Oh, I'm very close. Yeah, anything over any anything over seven fifty is. Like I don't know, D. I I don't know if that's the case, man. I, I don't <laughs> no What do you mean? There. <laughs> First things first, Joe, you got eight different. I've never in my life. That's seen why somebody, my credit's so good. But Joe will push it to the limit, not because he doesn't have the money, but because he'll wait till he gets a call from the company and be like, we're going to shut your credit card down. Oh, that's a problem, man, because as, as soon as you go past due, that, Joe, that knocks no, off I pay all my cards on time, Bob. I'm okay. not. Okay. That's I'm not what not, we're being I'm told. I'm not going to have you. I'm not going to have you put your score up there. But there's no way. I'm very that curious thing as to what the score Because you have now. too many cards to keep track of, Joey. Bob, I, I I have near I have very, very good credit. I'm now with that being here. said, these these perks of the Amex does sound really good. And it feels like Amex has so much money that they don't bust your balls. It they feels don't. like they, they really just let you go. There it is seven eighty three. Wow. That's a power score, bro. Read it in a week, bitches. Tell you what. <laughs> Pretty good, Bob. Joe. When you have multiple cards, it improves your credit. Yeah, I just didn't think you were keeping track. Look, that's oh, pretty good, man. Track. That's immaculate. Yeah. That's immaculate. Credit. Yeah. You cannot, you cannot how, knock that. How did you check your score, Joe? What did you have on there? Credit Karma app. Credit Karma app. You can good go in every once in a while and check. Good for I you. Very responsible of you, Joe. But I'm actually yeah. down. I'm actually, I was almost at seven ninety before. I've gone down a few points. I got to check on why that is. Okay. Um. Mike, are you better or worse than me? I don't know. I haven't I haven't checked my credit card. I'm probably right around the same. A seven anything over 750 is outstanding. You'll never get denied anything if you're over 750. It says yeah, it's, it's, there's like the thing where it's yeah. like the credit cards, I'm approved for almost everything. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I you know I, what is a problem though? I'll say <laughs> what's a problem. I'm sorry, I gotta say this. So is this when a sell? I came, is this your sell? No, Sounds not like a sell, sell, but what it's when Sounds I came like to this sell. country and I love the Amer- United States of America with all when my heart. When you came to this country, Joe? When I moved to the United States, when I came. All right, don't say country. when I came to this country. Yeah, it sounds, sounds like, like you came from, from fucking Bosnia. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When, when I, I when came I... to this country at my young age. <laughs> I'm sorry to use the technically correct term. When I moved to the U.S., I had no debt. I had no student loans. I had a bunch of money that I was try- putting into my account. I couldn't get approved for a single credit card. And I called them. I said, what's the case? Oh, you have zero credit. I said, I have zero credit. In Canada, it works differently. You, if you have no debt, if you don't have any debt or anything like that, that's when your credit is the highest. In the States, the more that you spend is how you establish credit. It was really weird to me. So it's, it's it, you know, I, I don't understand why, you know, someone like myself who was, you know, bright, bright, bushy eyed, tailed or whatever individual coming to like to the Bob, what? I was I was a hardworking individual bright, coming bright, bushy eyed. 
You know what I'm saying? I but do, I was, bro, but goddamn, you fucking butcher. I don't know so where many of these I things. don't know but where. That, but it is so much better, honestly. It, it, it's so much better, bright, bushy-eyed. When Joe, when Joe <laughs> doesn't know something, he'll commit to it. When I don't know something, I'll I love hold that, it though. in. I love that. I, I almost think I should start committing, too. To where you I should. should. just Yeah. You should. Start, <laughs> you should. But you know what I'm start. saying, right? Now, I see, now that I have good credit to air... It's crisper. Life feels better. Like it's 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 so much better that I I don't have to worry about stuff. When for the first year I lived in the states, I I I had to get like a a, a credit card that I wouldn't give to an enemy. It had like a, a two hundred dollar limit. It was you all. It's like Joe when I wanted can't to even get the- bagels in California for two hundred. Pretty much not, Mikey yeah. B. Yeah. Or an avocado toast. Yeah, an avocado <laughs> toast. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, buy or sell, Joey D. Take it away. <laughs> All right, if I'm actually the sell. I'm actually buying this week. Wow. And I, yeah, you know, we've given Wendy's a lot of a lot of credit and a lot of publicity on this podcast. I'm switching lanes today. And I'm not talking bad about Wendy's, but I'm talking about another company that I think I could get behind. A hundred and ten percent fast food chain. Oh, I don't think oh, they get. I kind of want to guess this. It's unbelievable, and it's and you know what? It's something is it that new. It's newer. No, it's not new. It's been around for ages. They're not known for their for their for their main like burgers and stuff, but they're known for the. See, if I give that, if I give, uh, are you gonna a buy? Clue, you're not gonna buy Tim Hortons, are you? No, I'm a buying Taco Dairy Bell? Queen. I'm buying Dairy Queen, and I'm buying it fucking hard. No, I, I had like my it. sister. My sister had a I birthday. Like it a lot. Yesterday, we got one of those Dairy Queen ice cream cakes. You want to talk about, I have never met somebody who does not like a piece of Dairy Queen ice cream cake. Ice cream it cake is, is great. potentially the greatest cake that's ever been formed. I got news for you. The ice, cream cake, ice cream cake is better than regular cake. For sure. It is better. For sure. It's got the layer of fudge in it. It's got the chocolate, the nuts. It's or I don't know if it's nuts. The it's cookie like crumbles. The cookie, cookie crumbles. crumbles mm-hmm. the, the frosting, the, then the ice cream. It's unbelievable. It cost sure 40-something dollars and everybody finished it. And then we, we went, we got my mom and dad a fancy cake, like one of those gateaus, you know, like the chocolate gateau from like this high-end spot. And nobody even ate any. It was like a Coke. It was like a pineapple mousse, some special cake, which costs way more, by the way. Sounds the crazy. Dairy Queen cake, ice cream cake is undefeated. And I just, I don't, I don't understand why it doesn't get more praise. In terms the Blizzard is maybe the best Blizzards are great. Yeah, Blizzards of all great. time. Blizzards and you know what? I am a hundred percent on the Dairy Queen. Uh, and you know I'm, what? And you know what? I feel like a lot of these other places bit off of what Dairy Queen was doing McFlurries? years ago. Yeah, McFlurries like there was the is... Blizzard. Everyone has their own version of a Blizzard. Everyone, but Blizzard was the OG. I feel like Blizzard. You know was the, the new OG. Blizzards now. They got these. This one, I don't know if they have it in the states too. They got. This royal Oreo, Mikey V, and it's oh. got a layer of fudge oh. that goes through the center of oh, the yeah. blizzard. So you can control your fudge distribution. Yes, no. and yeah. then you can add yeah. topping, different toppings to the. It's unbelievable. Dairy Queen is is so it's, it's not underrated because people love it, but it doesn't get the amount of praise that it should. They had and this, I'm buying it. They 100%. had this dessert there called the Peanut Buster Parfait. Parfait, yes, yeah, one of my yeah, for sure. It's like one it's of the like best a Sunday on steroids with with the honey roasted peanuts in there. Oh, and it was yes. unreal. And they do three unreal. layers of fudge yeah, around it. Yeah. I so it's not like you go through the top layer and you're done. You keep going to the bottom, yeah. and then you got more. Yeah. Even yeah. too, I mean, just there. I I even even had there the ice cream cake. Just just the blizzard is one oh. of the. If I there's certain spots you go by and you see it, you light up and and, and are probably going to hit it. I I think Dairy Queen their their blizzards are spectacular, and you I don't think I they realize? get enough credit. Before they give you the blizzards, they're mandatory responsible to turn it upside down to show you no, that the that, blizzard's been made correctly. I don't know if they're I, Joe. I don't know if that's part of the. What I don't the know if that's a yeah, Joe. I don't know. It's mandatory, <laughs> Bob. Mandatory per what? The the Wendy the Dairy Queen fucking handbook. No, he's the Blizzard Googling test. It. He's no. He's it's a thing that they do, but that's not a ma- that's not a mandatory. They give it to you in according to you become D- a Dairy Queen barista. They give it to you. Yeah. According so. to Dairy Queen Instagram, yeah. 
Hold on. No, that's not what it is. What is here's the Dairy Queen Blizzard rule. If you don't know, Dairy Queen has its company policy where their signature confection, oh, the Blizzard, is supposed to be served to customers upside down in order to prove its delicious thickness. It's right there. <laughs> they have to turn it upside down, Bob, to show I that it's thick enough I love that you. it won't spill. I love when Joe love has that. something so that. obscure that only he and like a handful <laughs> of other people on the planet are aware of. And when he proves himself right, it's just the best. It's literally the best. The best. It's it so good. Happen nearly enough. Yes, that's, <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, I'm, I'm going with the candy. The candy that I don't think gets enough credit. And what I like is it kind is of this takes a buy? long. This is a buy. Okay. This is a buy of a candy that I was hitting recently. And I think it's so good and doesn't get enough credit. I'm buying Starbursts. I think Starbursts are absolutely. I had it at the airport the other day. And it's awesome, too, because it, it takes a while to do it, too. To where I think like, they kind of stink. Are you, you think Starbursts stink? They kind of stink. I don't no. think. Well, right. here's the thing. What what f- I think here, the pink ones are pink is undefeated. If I can and get then all pink, I got to tell you the sleeper the starburst. The, the sleeper starburst sucks. is uh, you know what? No, that's my sleeper starburst. That. That's that's my sleeper starburst. Sure. There's no the way. I think the yellow good. starburst is tremendous. There's no way you've ever had a starburst and said that it sucks. There's no way. Uh, it's, it's not said it sucks. It, if it was all pink starburst. I would have no. They sell. Buying. They sell all pink Starburst packs. I saw them in the store the other day. And to God, smart, if smart. I see it again, if I see it again, I'll take a picture. I'll take. Just you know what? That's like seeing the white buffalo. <laughs> it was... <laughs> that is an anomaly. Wait, are you serious? Are you I don't know how chain? much. I don't know how much longer I could go on with these. That's like the white buffalo. <laughs> it was good. I never heard that ever. I just like it. I it hits so good. Buffalo, yeah. It takes a while to eat it too. To where like these other candies, I just want to pounce like a Reese's. As much as I love Reese's cups, love you know how Reese's. fast it's over. The experience is over. It's you're over in quick. and you're out. It's over yeah. very quick. You what second you unwrap? You gotta you gotta unwrap. You gotta do this. Joe's gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah. Uh, but the Starburst though, Bob. How would you rank the flavors? I'd put pink has got to be one, right? I'm going pink, red, yellow, orange. Yeah, I would. I'd have yellow it too. I don't think one yellow, two red, three orange, four. But even the orange one, I don't even think the orange one's that bad either. I think Starburst is. I just haven't had it in a while. I, it's. I, I was eating them before I boarded my flight. I got onto my flight. I was still going. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. all that unwrapping, it's going to take some time. That's right. Yeah, I'm not. That's the thing. I'm not a huge fan of the unwrapping. Let's um. Let's get down to business here, um, fellas. We have a top five. Um, mm-hmm. Mikey V, why don't you tell the folks what we're going to be doing top five? This is one we said it last week what we were going to be doing. It carried over. Um, it's only right. Tell the folks what you're going to be doing here, Mikey V. Well, as you know, the Brilliantly Dumb Show is an equal opportunity podcast. And as such, last week, top five actors. This week, top five actresses. Top five actresses. Now, I know, I think now everyone wants to just be called an actor, you know, regardless, male or female. So, but top five actresses for for distinguishing sake, uh, distinguishing between last week's top five, this week's top five, top five. Okay. Um, I think Jody, you're gonna struggle you... here, Bob. Yeah. No, I I'll be the first to tell you. I think this the <laughs> the actors I felt really good about this. I I could I could be in for a tough one here. Joey Jenna D Jameson off. is on Bob's top five. Oh, actresses. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Joey Day. <laughs> All right. Um, I actually like my list. I I I, I yeah, think it's, yeah. it's not well surprising. Nice. Not surprising. Yeah. Number five, I got Nicole Kidman. I think this is a young lady who's done it time and time again. Some of the, some great movies that she's been a part. Of. Eyes Wide Shut to me. If you've never watched it, one of the better movies I've ever seen. Stanley Kubrick is Batman Forever. Forever. Batman Forever, unbelievable too. But she's. She was also in that movie, The Upside, with Brian Cranston and Kevin yes. Hart, which is yes. awesome. Yes. Yeah, she's been doing it for a long time, which is why she makes the list uh, five at uh, Nicole Kidman. Number four, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman to me is she's just she's a great actress, 
Uh, Black Swan was was low key an absolute banger of a movie. She can play many different roles too. She did the movie with um, Justin Timberlake where it was like more of like a rom com, like where they're just something about friends or something like that. She's been in some good movies, and she did it even as a the female act. Uh, the she was a kid actress. In that movie, Leon, did you ever watch that movie where the guy was like the security guard who was taking care of? That's a great movie. Yeah, you never watched it. It's a really good movie. <laughs> Natalie Portman makes my four spot. Number three. This is someone Bob probably has no idea about, but I got to put her on the list. I've never seen her in a movie that she wasn't great in. Viola Davis. And I just watched her mm-hmm. in the recent movie in the Air Jordan. She was Jordan's mom. Yeah, yeah, really in, in so many good movies. Uh, she is. She's awesome. Um, she takes my number three spot at number two. I mean, this is a golden girl. I'm going Julia Roberts at number two. You want to talk about some damn good movies. This She's done it all, man. Hook, Pretty Woman. I mean, I, Pretty Woman, we, Bob and I both worked in that hotel that she... Hook, Hook is such a good movie, bro. Hook is, Hook is a, a great movie. movie. Aaron great. Brockovich. She was Notting Hill. All these movies. She was unbelievable for so long. Dominated for, for the, it seemed like, the entire 90s and early 2000s. Julia Roberts gets my number two spot. And a number one, I got to go with a Canadian gal. She is special. Rachel McAdams at one. Rachel McAdams. Rachel McAdams at one. You talk Mean Girls. You talk about um, The Notebook. You talk about, I mean, some just all-time, all-time movies. Um, She's great. And she's Canadian. I got to represent Rachel McAdams takes my number one slot. Bob, did you know all the people that I said? I I didn't know Viola Davis. Okay. He may not know. No, he'll know a couple, but yeah, I know. I, I have a feeling Mikey V went really old school. I did. Yeah, I have two. I does. have two that I, I. I mean, Joe will know them by name. Bob won't know them for probably nothing. like Judy Garland or Cal no, Martin no, no. Or but old, wanna, but old. Do you want to save old. Mikey V for last? Or Meryl Streep is another great one. Now Meryl Streep is a hundred percent on my list. Yeah, but the thing is, is like I know that she's a great actress, but the reason one I one of the greatest my, ever, Joe. But the reason I didn't put her on my list is I don't I don't recall like a lot of movies that I've watched that she's been in. I know she was in The Devil Wears Prada, but like mm-hmm. I I can't recall like watching her in tons of movies. So although I know she's an esteemed actress, I had I had to be true to myself, so I didn't put her on my list. But I think it's a great choice. Yeah, all these actresses, the movies that I'll name, I've seen. Yeah, I have about ahead? four movies. Burned. You want to go yeah, ahead, I'll Mikey go. V? Yeah, I'll go. Five, give me Jodie Foster. Silence of the oh, Lambs, great. Taxi Driver, Contact, Jodie Foster. Uh, Panic Clar- Room? Yeah, as Clarice Starling alone, she probably would make the list. One of my favorite movies ever. Number Bob four, doesn't know what Hannibal is, so it's not even worth yeah. talking about. <laughs> yeah. But, Bob, you do know Jodie Foster. No, he doesn't. Bob, have you heard of The Silence of the oh, Lambs? For, yeah, I've, oh, I've heard of it. I haven't seen it, but I've heard of Silence oh, of the Lambs. for one. Now, She's this one, movie. Bob's going to know. I would be shocked if he doesn't. Jamie Lee Curtis at four. Oh, the, the Halloween gal. Bob, Jamie Lee Curtis? Judgment Day with the... With, uh, with no, heard no, no not name. Judgment Day. Uh, True what was Lies. that? True, True Lies. Lies. True Lies. True Lies. True Lies. Yeah. That's what it is. True Damn Lies, man. Trading man. Places, all the Halloweens. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> she was very, great in the newest Halloween, by the way. Yeah, she's really good. Um, Number three, this is a name that he's not going to know for sure. Ingrid, Ber- Ingrid Bergman. Casablanca, oh, yeah, Anastasia, yeah, yeah. Gaslight, uh, Ingrid Bergman is, is an all-timer. <laughs> no Number two, another name, no chance, but probably the most famous female actor ever is Katherine Hepburn. Katherine Hepburn yeah. on Golden Pond, Line in the Winter, uh, most actresses for best, most Oscars for best a- actress ever, four of them. Um, yeah, I mean, she's, she's tremendous. That's a breakfast at Tiffany's, right? No, that's uh, Audrey Hepburn. That's- Oh, that's Audrey. The, uh, uh, that's... Uh, it's not Catherine Hepburn. It's not Catherine Hepburn. Breakfast at Tiffany's. I just, the name's escaping me, but it's not Catherine Hepburn. Um, number one, I got Meryl Streep. Number one is Meryl Streep. Yeah. Not only is good. Meryl Streep, uh, the Deer Hunter, Sophie's Choice, uh, Adaptation, Bridges of Madison's Ca- Madison County, but she's a New Jersey native on top of all of that which is, uh, you know, something a little extra. So just like Joe with the Canada play, uh, yeah. Meryl Streep to me was number one. So I got Meryl Streep. I think it's a very merited number one, as I said before. But yeah, she's tremendous. Bob, I think, didn't know anyone from that list. Oh, for five. I was over five. 
Yeah, it's over <laughs> five. That's yeah. I I am so intrigued to hear Bob's list. And Bob, can I say something? And I'm not trying to be a douchebag. I'm really not. I would like to make a request that if you're giving an actress you name one movie that they've been. sure sure i i did my list off of a single movie that i really liked some okay that that's I all that's all because that mm-hmm. if you're giving me like if you gave me judy garland i i'm, no, I'm I having to that. question it i understand that that's why i'm saying this. number five <laughs> give so me I'm Angelique. Writing, i'm writing down currently the 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 women who I think you're gonna pick for best actress. Or oh wow! Actress. Put, right. it, put it to this. Put it, Joey D. You do you have a pen and paper? Yeah, I always I always have pen and paper. Well, yeah, you have a pencil in your head. Yeah. At the same. Okay, go go ahead. I'll turn around. You show the folks what what you got. Okay. Wait, no, no. You know what? Say it out loud. Do it after. Do it, no, do, it, do it after. I no, want to show I'm it curious after. How, I'm curious how much he. No, he, no, 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 no. He gets. Do it after. I, I'm gonna do step away. Tell him and show him what you got. Step away, Mikey V. You know why? He what? might look at the screen and get some ideas. No, he's not. 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 Um, who is the Joe? Who's the girl? Um, who's the girl in uh, the one in the boxing movie? Oh, oh. Um, she's very popular. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. She's uh, very popular. The, the, that's the million dollar baby. Yeah, yeah, million dollar baby. Oh, he's coming back. We haven't even done it yet. Not yet, Bob. Not yet. Am I good? That's uh, no, no, not yet, not yet, one minute, not yet. One more, one minute, one, one minute, minute, one minute. Go ahead. That would be uh, the correct answer. Would be Hillary Swank. Hillary Swank, right now. Yeah, I think that'll be on the list. And then, uh, yeah, See, I, I, listen, would, I would, I would say he's going to say in the interest, in the Angelina time, Jolie. In the interest of say, time, in the interest of time, here's who I wrote down. Well, I can see you can see Jennifer Aniston, Angelina yes. Jolie, Kate yeah. Winslet, and Hillary Swank. Those what about Scarlett names. Johansson? That could be one, Scarlett Johansson. All right, so we'll go with that also. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, Bob. Yeah, you're in the clear. Okay. All right. Number five. Give me Mila Kunis. Oh, okay. that's a good okay. one. Yeah. Okay. Give me, okay. G- give me Mila Kunis at number five. Number four, because of a soul movie, um, give me Penelope Cruz oh, because I loved blow. her. Yeah, I loved her. In We're blow. 0 for two. 0 for two. Number three, give me Margot Robbie. Oh for, wow. for three. Wow. I should have picked Street. that. Yeah. Number two, I don't know if you guys saw this coming, but give me Sandra Bullock at number two because I love wow. the blind side. No, Bob, this is By the bad. way. By this the way, Bob's list is great. By the way, did you just see today Michael Orr came out and said that the blind side yeah, was a lie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But at the same time, too, it kind of sounds like he's out for a little bit of money, too, at the same time. Is he time. retired? Is he still playing? Why, long, did, it take long, the, why did it take this long for him to t- tell the story? I, I agree. Why? That That's... that's <laughs> I, I, I The agree. movie came out like fucking 15 years ago. I know. I think something's a little fishy about that. Um, okay. Number one... Give me Jennifer Aniston at number one. Okay, there we oh, go. We got one. We got one. What did one. you have? Fuck. I'm curious what you had. We had Jennifer Aniston, Scarlett Angelina Johansson, Jolie. Hillary Swank, Kate Angel- Winslet, and Angelina Jolie. I don't know who Kate Winslet is. Okay. She's from the Titanic, Bob. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, great movie. Great <laughs> No film. chance you watched even an hour of it. Yeah, I did. Why? I've seen the Titanic multiple times. I like the Titanic. You watched wow. three hours of the Titanic. He's a Leo guy. He'll watch uh, a Leonardo DiCaprio yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Bob, like I, he he's he's wait, a wait, departed wait, 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 wait. guy. Got, he likes the departed. You watched Titanic. Wait, 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 he's wait, wait, a Leo wait. guy. You watched the Titanic multiple times. Yeah, because 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 you, you, you're kind of forced into the Titanic. You got no choice. It's on every channel. It's on <laughs> FX every other day. You be I, some of those you just don't have any choice. <laughs> I like the Titanic. It's one of the longest movies ever. I can't even believe that you watched it to and begin with. Honor, honorable mention, I got Angelina Jolie. All right, so oh. we got we, we got yeah, that. I got one. Angelina not, Jolie. Not honorable, honorable mention. mention. Okay. Joey D. Honorable mention. I I would I would go with Scott. Um, give me uh, actually, I'm going to switch it up. Give me um, Halle Berry as my honorable mention. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go. Makes- I'm going to. I'm going to take Jennifer Aniston, honorable mention. Yeah, I'm surprised she didn't make it into, into I thought she mention. would be a no-brainer. 
Yeah, there's so many good ones. I'm, I'm going to go on a limb here. I don't even like that. Though. I think Bob's list is going to win by a landslide. His list is going to hit. Very well, man. <laughs> Very well, man. Bob, I, I don't listen. People I'm were out, outraged last week, but that's about that's, what? Bob's. My list last week? A lot of people felt that your list last week, a lot of people felt that people were just <laughs> throwing you a vote on that list, that it was not deserving to be the winner. Wow. Oh, I think yeah, that's it. Yeah. Who's a lot of, I thought it was a, a great lot of people, list. A lot of people. Read the I comments. Think, a lot of people. Oh, I thought it was a great list. Thought it was a great list. This is the first okay. comment I see. The fact that Bob is leading in the votes this week just shows how completely pretzeled this entire you organization did, you brainwashed is. Brainwashed the entire community. Current time. I brainwashed. We will brain- continue to strive for equity and balance moving forward. Thank you, Cuz. You yeah. brain. You brainwashed. <laughs> how many likes on that comment, Joe? 114 likes. Yeah, yeah that's about right. That's and then Bob right. responds, LMA. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic Bob. Yeah. Well, well. Oh, um, then the first response, bear down, face the music. You pandered. No two ways about it. Whoa. Who said that? I don't know. Some random in the comments. Probably some guy who works for Sony. <laughs> <laughs> Would never right. be a Dairy Queen employee, let me tell you that. By the way, no, fellas- no, they have a big <laughs> they have a big manual to uphold a lot of, a lot of <laughs> um, they gotta turn that thing upside down. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that does it. Another edition of the Brilliantly Dumb Show. We'll see you next time. Take care.